Count yourself blessed. If you are still here and you have your family members still here, nobody passed away, thank you, Jesus. I'm not going to knock on wood, but I'm just going to give God his praise and honor that he deserves for keeping us. What's up, my love bugs and love bubbles? This is Mama Love, and I'm back with another video. You are, you are, you are, you are. So, the video that I had made yesterday with the uh, Alfredo uh, pasta that I made with the chickpea noodles, you know, and the black burgers, black bean burgers, should I say. Well, um, the pasta got gone. Ain't no more pasta. And uh, I think Terrell bit off the black bean burger. I don't think Tina even touched one. And I ate the one that you saw me eating on camera. And maybe they were a little bit too plain, but I'm about to make a gravy, you all, with this, a brown gravy I'm going to make up. And I'm gonna revamp these uh, black bean burgers, okay? I'm gonna win, okay? Maybe the you know, flavor was good, and I love black beans, so um, I'm just gonna have to get used to um, the fact that the taste, um, uh, it's, it's not gonna crunch or bite into like meat. So once I get that past my thick head, I'm gonna be good. But I am going to be revamping these with a brown gravy over rice brown rice so yeah stay tuned okay, so in my faithful skillet you all i i'm gonna start my uh um my vegetables after i put the avocado uh oil in it um but i'm not gonna put the avocado oil in it not just yet i'm gonna go ahead because i froze these right and i want the water off of them a little bit my green and uh red and one little yellow and one little orange bell pepper. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's get these uh, the water. Tina over there doing her little corn. You know, she had to get up in the kitchen with me today. But uh, you know that's right. And y'all, I got those black bean burgers. I got those in the oven because I didn't want to put them in the microwave to warm them up. You know what I mean? But I'm about to show y'all how to make a bomb vegan gravy, baby. Yes. Let me show you how to make some bomb corn, baby. Oh, girl. It's the skills for me. It's the skills. It's the me. corn for me. See, I want that to cook out that that uh, water from it being froze. And go ahead and yeah, I know. Okay, mom. I know you said don't use all your butter. And I'm no, gonna... don't. What are you doing, mama? I'm not. That's not what I'm doing. I, I like my corn to be buttery, Mom. Okay, but you just put it in there. You buttered the pan no, before I you warm, put the corn. I warm it up so it can spread all around the corn. Right, want no right. Corn. So don't, okay, so st stop right there, boo, because you, yeah. So, so nobody want no dry corn, man. Okay, so that's that's dry enough for me to go ahead and add the avocado oil. Get off the way real quick and put this in the oven. Put what in the oven? Should have had the aprons on. Mm. Oh, turn, I got my brown rice going. Turn my brown rice off. Just okay. turn it off. That brown rice ready. Set it over to the side, yeah. Yeah, that brown rice. Matter of fact, set it over to the side. Yeah, so I know. I know. You can switch spots. Okay, so I'm putting avocado oil in. That's enough. So I'm gonna add the rest of my vegetables, which is garlic, mushrooms, onions. Ah. Ooh, hell, hot. Uh, sorry, hell's hotter. Hell's hotter. Mm -hmm. Once I got that in there like that, I'm gonna turn this down some though. But I forgot this is the biggest eye. Cause you're popping your daughter. I don't mean to. So I'm coming in with my onion powder. You already know. My garlic powder. You already know. I need a little bit of this what you're using over here. I'm gonna put some cumin in there. Look cumin. Hold on. I thought it was cumin. Cumin, cumin, whoever it is. Now that's what I'm calling it. Let me make a song, girl. I thought that was that 21 salute. Where's she at? That's right, up there. I'm going to use 24 herbs. Now that is the leaker. Okay. All right. And so and I'm going to get my feet up. These are all my vegetables that I love. When I make my gravy, I like to go over it. My gravy, I'm gonna set these to the side. Once I get them where I want them. Look, those look like they can go in a nice silly cheese steak. Mmm, -hmm, don't it? Mm-hmm. See, that's what gives you that flavor. 
I gotta uh, turn this corn in a little bit. Yeah. So, that's her corn. And you know, I'm just, I got the, oh, oh. The melted butter. My melted butter. I'm gonna need, Vegan butter. I'm gonna need that garlic, the little garlic powder, little, you know, little onion powder. I'm gonna do it for Okay. Little onion. Garlic. Little garlic. Uh, hold on. Little sea salt. Okay. Now there we go. Set that down right there. Then you're gonna pour that over in that. Over in the corn. Over in that. And you're gonna, you know, mind you, I still got a little stick of butter going in this corn right here. That's what I said. So you're we going, going crazy with a girl. We're gonna, we're gonna mix it around, you know, do what we do. I'm gonna make a do with a do, I'm gonna make a do with a do. That's what I'm gonna do. But uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned, cause I, I really oh, gotta, I really gotta uh, turn this corn. Okay, so I'm turning this down, and I'm adding a little bit more avocado oil, and I left a little bit of vegetable oil. In, I mean vegetable oil. I left a little bit of vegetables over in here because I need the flavor brown rice flour. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, that's what I gonna do. And I like a nice amount of gravy. I don't like running out of gravy. I like to keep it, you know what I'm saying? Because we want a lot of gravy to go touch them them black bean burgers and you know that uh what you call. Well I'm gonna say like, turn this up a little bit more. That rice. I don't no nobody want no dry rice. Or no dry gravy. Or no half a uh, little bit of gravy. I used to allow like making my gravy where it, you know. Where it lasts like okay, three houses I, last. That brown rice flour to me, it, brown yes, it works better to me than regular flour. Well, it's it the brown to. flour for me. Okay. And so I'm coming over in. I just poured in vegetable broth, you all, and now I'm stirring it around. As you already know. The more the flour, what? The, the more the, the gravy. As that's doing that, see how that's coming into a nice form, that gravy? See how that gravy acting? See how that gravy acting? That's gonna turn it down for it. Don't pop me in my face, because it's acting like it's gonna cut up. Okay, so I'm, I turned it all the way on low. Because when I go to season my gravy, let me go ahead and add some more, because that's a little bit too thick. Add all the this. Come on, vegetable broth, come through. I want my, I want my level to be right there. Yeah, probably one of them. I use this whole cur uh, uh, carton of vegetable oil because I want that much gravy. It's going to thicken you all, and guess what? If it don't, I'm gonna add more flour and another skillet. Like I made this one up, I'll make that one up, and I'll just go ahead and smooth it out. Okay. Once it's thickened, I'm gonna add the vegetables back in. Okay about my gravy to where I want it, where it's kind of like a, it's, it's a, you know, like a syrupy, but it's not like really thick, but it's like where I want it enough for me to go ahead and season it again, before it gets acting crazy and trying to pop me. So I'm going back in with sea salt, and um, this time I want to try a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning in it, you all. I'm going back in and I'm adding my vegetables back in it. This is how you make vegan homemade brown rice gravy. And over here, those black bean burgers. Yes. I'm going to set those in here. I'm gonna set one in here, y'all, because I don't know if it's gonna act like a beef. So I don't know if it's gonna melt the bean or what. So I'm gonna set it over in there. And that's how we want it. And see how that do. We gonna, we gonna see. But what if it turned into a big old breadcrumb, y'all? A bunch of breadcrumbs. Um, auto, it shouldn't. Let me see, I'm, te I'm testing it. I think they're gonna, maybe they're gonna keep their form. So we're gonna go ahead and add them. Cause like I said, this ain't no beef patties. But would this be good if it was some Salisbury steak, y'all? Mm. Look how that gravy turned out. 
That's that homemade gravy, baby. And that is going over that brown rice. Here's my plate. Look at that vegan gravy with the mushrooms and onions and garlic and bell pepper over that black bean burger, that gravy with that corn with a little vegan um, butter in it. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, revamp, baby. Got to revamp it. Can't do it right, do it Do it another way. Come another way. Okay, so y'all know I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. Y'all know I'm gonna be honest with y'all, like I was yesterday. Yeah, your plate look delicious. Oh. It just, period, oh. also, it just, man. You know, God is good. Lord bless this food I'm about to receive, or we about to receive, Lord God, let it be nourished to our body, Lord. Purify of many impurities, God, we ask in Jesus' name, amen. So here we go, let me get into some of this corn. No, let's, I got the rice. Calling out the corn. So with the rice, with the mushroom and gravy. It don't make no sense, y'all, how good this is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste these black bean burgers now. With the gravy over it this time, with a little rice with it. God is so good. God is so good. Let me taste. Tina's corn. Mmm, Tina. Y'all, this is so amazing. So, those black bean burgers were good, but without anything on them, you know, it just wasn't really hitting on nothing, but you take them black bean burgers. Cause see, I'm gonna be following recipes that other people put on there and say, ooh, these black bean burgers are so good. And you can put, um, what you call? Uh, vegan meal on it with some bread and I'm like mm, I don't see it that way so I try to eat them plain because like I said in my mind I wanted them to taste like I don't know why I wanted to I wanted it to crunch in like a stomach croquette you know because I put them onions and garlic in my my stomach croquettes and so I just knew that it would taste like that but you know black bean burger duh but around the edges and the flavor was good because you could taste the garlic and the green pepper and the onion all up in it you know what I'm saying but to bite in it, you know, it just reminds you like, it was like a bite, like, mmm, crunchy, like, and then when you get to the middle part, you be like, side, black bean burger, you know, yeah. So that's how, but with this being smothered and this vegan gravy that I made over this rice, y'all, this brown rice, it's a vegan all day, still plant-based all day, baby. Plant-based all day long. I'm thanking God for the wisdom and the knowledge that he has given me to prepare this meal. I give him all honor, glory, and praise. Mm, trying not to eat and smack in y'all ear. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. What you say, Tina? Peace out. No, 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 no. What you feel about it now? No. I want to bite into that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The sauce, the gravy. And you know, it's the, it's the salt, it's the gravy for me. I'm gonna go, y'all. It's so good. Terrell. Peace out, Jesus. Be blessed.